Episode 9 is set to end the Skywalker saga and the sequel trilogy itself by writer and director J.J. Abrams and Chris Terrio. This is Mike Zero. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now, one aspect of this movie that a lot of people are truly looking forward to seeing is, of course, exactly how J.J. Abrams is going to utilize the character of Kylo Ren in this film and exactly how he's really going to be a whole lot more evil than Darth Vader ever was in the original trilogy era. Now, these past couple of weeks or so, we've been learning a whole lot more about this film when it comes to some of the set leaks, the set designs, the concept art and storyboard descriptions, etc., one of which has all to do with the characters of Kylo Ren, the Knights of Ren, and yes, even Darth Vader. Specifically, a description of one of the opening sequences in the first act of the film, where it's described that Kylo Ren is giving a lecture to the Knights of Ren that are kneeling before him in his throne room. It's described that the Knights of Ren are putting together pieces of Darth Vader's charred armor that was said to be taken from the Acolytes of the Beyond, inside of the Beyond, during the Knights of Ren's mission there. It said that Ren and his Knights of Ren are each holding a piece of Darth Vader's armor, where the Knights of Ren one by one step forward toward Kylo and place pieces of Vader's armor on a metallic figure that holds the armor. It said that Vader's prosthetic legs and arms were recovered as well as Vader's shoulder armor and his chest plate. It's described to be a Star Wars version of a scarecrow of some kind where the Vader armor is mounted on a figure. It's described that Kylo places the melted Vader helmet last, making the Vader figure complete. Another goes over Kylo Ren making a speech to the First Order on a large stage, where it's described that the Vader figure can be seen in the background in front of a large First Order flag. It said that this is how Kylo uses Vader as an inspiration for the First Order to continue the fight against the Resistance. J.J. Abrams is making Vader a plot device where he is still encourages an organization to fight in a war. So I want to go over a couple of parts about all of this that's really getting me very excited about this movie when it comes to Darth Vader. So first things first, this all has something to do with the Acolytes of the Beyond. In case you guys have no idea who they really are, in case you guys haven't read the books such as Empire's End or Aftermath and stuff like that, you will learn that the Acolytes of the Beyond are a group of individuals that actually looked up to Darth Vader and Emperor Palpatine after their death. They're basically dark side worshippers of some kind that really gathered a lot of ancient relics and artifacts of the Sith, and one of which was of course Darth Vader's lightsaber. So moving past all of this, what's really intriguing though is that the Knights of Ren actually stole the Darth Vader armor pieces from the Acolytes of the Beyond inside of the Beyond. Wherever that location is within the galaxy or outside of the galaxy, we're not quite sure and are for certain. But what's really intriguing about this scenario is that each and every Knight of Ren is holding a piece of Darth Vader's armor where one by one a Knight of Ren is stepping forward toward Kylo Ren, placing a piece of Vader's armor on this figure that is said to be a Star Wars version of a Scarecrow of some kind. So this to me sounds very freaky and creepy and just amazing in a sense because this is actually being used in a sense by Kylo Ren in order to use it as an inspirational piece by of course the First Order to the stormtroopers that allowed them to really, you know, have a lot of, you know, bravery in order to fight against the resistance in episode 9. So you can see how Kylo Ren is still using Darth Vader as an inspiration to the First Order in order to continue the big fight against the resistance themselves in this movie by JJ. Now, what's really intriguing to me, though, is that J.J. Abrams is making Vader a plot device in this movie that is going to be used in order to inspire the First Order in Episode 9. So this definitely does fall directly in line with how Darth Vader is still going to be looming in the background and will be somewhat of a prominent figure in Star Wars Episode 9, even after death. And that, to me, sounds very clever. You know, this is something that we did not get to see in The Last Jedi, where Darth Vader was being used as a figure looming in the background background that will return in Star Wars Episode 9. So the other thing that I do want to go over is how Kylo Ren actually places the melted helmet last on top of the charred, you know, scarecrow version of Darth Vader of some kind, right? This is basically a Star Wars version of what a scarecrow really is in their universe. And Kylo Ren is putting together the leftovers of Darth Vader's armor 
onto this stick figure that's made out of metal of some kind in order to somewhat complete the actual Darth Vader body. Now, this probably does happen to the old rumors way back in 2014, you guys may recall, because this was also an original idea that never made it to the final cut of Episode 7, where one of the rumors was, of course, that the Knights of Ren and Kylo Ren were trying to resurrect Darth Vader. Now, in my opinion, without a doubt, that probably was, you know, taken in a different, you know, way where this actual sequence is exactly, you know, what those rumors were actually connected to. So this whole entire sequence in Star Wars Episode 9 as a part of one of the opening scenes within the first act of the movie, where Kylo Ren is also using this Vader, you know, figure on, of course, this large stage in front of the First Order army in order to inspire them to fight against the against the Resistance, I think is honestly a very clever way of J.J. Abrams of including Darth Vader and really putting him in the limelight here in this movie. Anyways, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.